Okay, YouTube. Ian here from Cool Ice Charge Cases and Power Supplies with a slightly different video again. Um, we've got the little OMP M2. This one's obviously the Explore version, so it's the 2020 model. But again, we've taken the flight controller off, and this one is trying one of the uh, F7 flight controllers with the quite nicely well written at the moment the Heli Flight 3D firmware on it. Um, been watching the development of this firmware and it looks to be quite good. So I thought I'd give it a go. As per normal, got my 3D printed adapter there, which obviously holds it in place. And touch wood, this is now going to be the second proper flight with this battery. It's a little bit more dialed in, not been out in the open with it, but we will do. So what we'll do, we'll turn it on. And it obviously has an arming button, so what I've done. I've set SB as the arm in, main arming button, so that's the main one, and I've put warnings on that, so when it's away from me it'll warn me that it needs to be towards me, and then the secondary arming button is the throttle hold, so you'll see when I'm about to fly, once I switch off SB, tail motor will start, and then the main motor then won't start until I flick out a throttle hold, at which point then the master arm is made. So that works out quite good. So let's turn this on. Welcome to OpenTM. Switch warning. And there we go. So we need SB towards us. Clears that one. And SF, which is my throttle hold. And then we're ready. Let's boot up the model. Make sure the battery's in. And we're in. There we go. Right, we're armed. There we go. So, no specific throw uh, uh, no sorry, no specific throw curves on this. Just either on or off, and obviously governed at 65%. But I have set. Um, flight modes with the collective pitch, so I've got idle up, so I've got normal, idle up one, idle up two, and throttle hold. So, to start with, if I flick out of SB, that'll arm it. All motors armed. Armed. Obviously the main motor's not starting, so I can put it to mid-stick. As soon as I flick out of throttle hold, the main motor will obviously ramp up and uh, attain flight RPM. Normal. Load. And there we go. And then we lift off to quite a nice stable hover. I want to say I'm 100% sure on it yet. It's still a little bit kind of twitchy. I figured out the dual rates. I had them wrong the other day. It was too lively. We're in 100% dual rate. So I've gone down a bit. And that's obviously made it better. But actually seems pretty capable. It sits there quite nice in the pirouette actually. Still a little bit lively, maybe for me, but that's more tuning. A little bit limited in the back garden here, ain't got much room, and obviously it's a, still a little bit of an untested setup, so I'm not going to push my luck. Something's just hit my hat there, I don't know whether that's a, a bee or something. Let me stand up, so I'm crouching down. So as you can see, it's actually quite, it's actually very locked in. You can actually, I swear you can actually hear the tail working a little bit harder in this setup. Almost as if obviously the, because it's BL Heli 32 EFCs on this setup. They've obviously got the, I don't know, I, I'm still quite new to this. I'm just making a guess here and no doubt I will be corrected if need be. Um, the BL Heli 32 EFCs probably do obviously update quite quickly, I think. I think that's the whole idea of the BL32, especially with the quads. And likewise then the tail on a helicopter, which obviously does need constantly updating, can be done so at a lot quicker refresh rate, which is obviously on the helicopter with a direct motor-driven tail, is obviously quite handy. 
so it actually works quite well I think I need to smooth out my collective pitch a little bit but that also doesn't help my rusty fingers going from left to right it actually holds really well so it'd be nice to get this out on a bit bigger area to really have a nice play uh, one bit I always check especially after the U Spirit and MSH unit is obviously if there's any discernible bounce and there isn't but unlike the, the U Spirit and like the uh, little MSH microbrain you can control the PIDs and obviously alter the PIDs on this and I'm using uh, I think it's PI Engineers settings on this at the moment oh here comes the wind so it's going to bounce around a little bit more as you can see it's uh, quite nice riding the wind nothing untoward that's quite nice 20 seconds last time I hovered the pack out for the flight time it put back 400 milliamps into the 650 milliamp power pack so it's not far off okay now landing this is where it has to perhaps think about it a little bit more for me I land I flick SB and then I flick throttle hold and then the motors are disarmed works quite well it's just a two switch I'd, I'd like to go down to one switch if I can so I might mess around with that but I play it safe because I'm still learning OpenTX but otherwise it's pretty good what we do we disconnect it and there as you can see it's all working quite well thanks for watching